Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. We're tracking a storm at the end of the week, and it looks like it is going to be mostly rain. Welcome back to Eyewitness News at Noon. I'm meteorologist Mike Slifer. I want to give you the early warning here on how this storm will likely play out. So what we're expecting is increasing clouds through the day on Thursday. And by 3 o'clock Thursday afternoon, the milder air is already north of the Berkshires and into southern parts of Vermont and New Hampshire. So that means here in Connecticut, by the time precip begins, it's just rain. We're expecting mostly rain from this storm system. Could be a bit breezy at times, maybe even a bit windy uh, once the upper level part of the storm gains a bit of strength. So we'll be watching that closely. Rain likely continues for most of the day on Friday, and it's not until Friday evening where we wrap things up. As this storm starts to pull in some colder air on the backside of it, we may briefly see a flip over to flakes. But the issue here is the timing. With temperatures quite marginal heading into the weekend, likely uh, above freezing and flakes possibly falling during the day, that still leads us to believe that it would be a very low impact event should we even see a flip to rain. Model support across the board is for rain. This is 7 a.m. Friday and a lot of our major models uh, showing just rain across Connecticut. To our north right now, temperatures in the 30s, 33 in Albany, Syracuse, 33 in Burlington, Vermont, and that's where our wind direction is starting to come. So temperatures uh, likely will hit their peak within the next couple of hours before dropping back a bit tonight. Wind speeds a little bit breezy at times too, sustained between about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Currently temperatures for us everywhere above freezing at this point in time. We did end up with an official report of a quarter of an inch of snow in Tolland this morning, but we're up to 36 now in storage, 34 in Winstead, 41 in Berlin, 41 in West Haven right now too. Early morning pinpoint Doppler is scanning, just nothing to show here, and this will likely uh, be the case for the next several days, not expecting any precip until that storm moves in at the end of the week. Visibility back up compared to where it was this morning, still struggling just a little bit near the shoreline, about five miles in Groton right now. Over the past six hours, all that we're dealing with is some remnant clouds, the storm system itself moving away from us, sunshine popping out in our capital city, 42 degrees in Hartford right now, wind out of the west northwest at 10 miles an hour. A live look in Waterbury also showing blue skies and sunshine. There's the edge of the clouds, which are moving away from us. And a live look right now in New London, where the clouds still remain thick, but we do expect sunshine to develop. So far this season, we are certainly running at a bit of a snow deficit, down over seven inches in the Hartford area, down over six inches in the Bridgeport area as of yesterday's climate reports. Drought monitors still showing abnormally dry conditions across western Connecticut, and this is because we haven't replenished the groundwater. So we still need uh, some of that rain, and there's plenty more of it on the way later this week. Forecast high temperatures today, mostly in the 40s. Tonight, back down into the 20s. Everywhere, some elevated surfaces like decks and steps may briefly become slick, but roads should be in decent shape even through uh, tomorrow morning. Temperatures remain above average pretty much all week long. The chilliest days, close to 40 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday. By Friday, rain moves in. Temperatures climb. Kara, we should be uh, clearing out just in time for the weekend.